ASMR FTP here. Um, so I decided that I wanted to play um, Final Fantasy IX. It's probably my favorite game, one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely my favorite Final Fantasy, um, which I know a lot of people are fans of seven, six, um, maybe some of the newer ones like 15, but uh, nine was just like the, my introduction to Final Fantasy. Uh, struck a chord with me, and I just absolutely love the game. I mean, it also it, it, I played it at, like you know a very formative time in my life. I think it was like early teens, so you know I was just kind of at that stage where really impressionable, and I don't know, it just I kind of played it at the right time. I just really, really enjoyed it. Really loved this game, so decided I might do a, a whispered playthrough where um, you know just go through the game and and play it and whisper and hopefully help you guys maybe relax you know anybody who likes uh final fantasy or final fantasy 9 you can follow along maybe it'll help you play the game kind of like a let's play asmr uh play through or walk through but um yeah so uh we'll kick it off uh, i think i already have a save file so we'll just start with a, a fresh playthrough for everybody I don't remember, I mean, I remember a lot about this game. I mean, this and Final Fantasy VII, I, I've played enough where uh, I remember a lot of, like, you know, where to go. I don't think I'll get lost too often, so hopefully I won't have to make too many edits. Um, you know, there, I mean, once you get into the late game, you know, there's stuff like getting Ragnarok for Steiner and a few other things. And I guess for those of you who haven't played Final Fantasy uh, IX, <coughs> At a certain point in a lot of Final Fantasy games, there there's a time where the kind of the map opens up and you can really do whatever you want before a final battle, uh, and that's where you would kind of take your time to find like the best weapons for all the characters in the game. And I guess for anybody who's, who really knows nothing uh, about Final Fantasy, um, there are RPG games, so role-playing games, where uh, you have a defined you know party of characters that you play with throughout the the story of the game. Um, and you know, you're throughout the game, you're you're leveling up their the characters themselves through fighting monsters, um, and also obtaining you know equipment, weapons to uh, increase their effectiveness. Uh, you know, increase the amount of damage they do, decrease the amount of damage they take, things like that. So, um, towards the end of the game. Um, you know, you can work on getting the best equipment for your character. So, you know, the best swords or the best, you know, staffs for your mages or anything like that. Um, another feature of role-playing games is, you know, character classes. So you have, you know, a character that focuses mainly on magic. You have characters that focus, you know, more on attacking. Um, so in this game, you know, there's uh, there's the classes that I can name off the top of my head would be the main character that you start out as. This guy right here uh, is a thief. And then there's a black mage that you meet early on as well, who is absolutely my favorite character in the entire game. His name is Vivi. The black mage, he focuses mo mainly on like destructive magic, fire, ice, lightning. There's a white mage who's another main character who we'll meet shortly. Um, so white mages, she focuses mainly on, you know, uh, restoration and, and healing. And then the last one that I'll just go over before we hop into the game would be uh, the character I mentioned earlier. His name is Steiner. He's a very comical character. And, uh, you know, he's more an aggressive, you know, he just kind of does damage or as, you know, some of uh, the nerds like me out there would say, he's your DPS character, your damage per second character. He's kind of your heavy hitter in your party who's going to uh, be doing, you know, you're just going to use him to kind of attack the enemy. So without further ado, let's get playing. Sure is dark. Guess nobody's here yet. Basic controls of the game. I, I know these, of course. We'll light the candle. Light up the room a little bit here. Who's there? gonna stick with the uh, the game provided names here so Zidane is the name of our he's pretty much the main character it's me 
Sedane. Hey, Sedane, you sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? Ain't here yet. So, for the sake of time and to show you the game and not waste everybody's time, um, you know, like early on in the game, I mean, I guess I, I'll just play it the way I want to play it. <laughs> Regardless of your time, I don't care about you guys. Now I do, but. <laughs> okay, so this is just kind of an introduction to combat. You know, for anybody who's, who really doesn't know anything about Final Fantasy RPGs or anything like that, I mean, if you want, I can leave this kind of stuff up so you can read it, but I can also just kind of walk you through it. I mean, uh, essentially, Final Fantasy, well, the early Final Fantasy games like Final Fantasy IX, this game, and Final Fantasy VII, and all of them, they're uh, turn based combat. So. You know, it's not an active, you know, it, it's not real time, you know, uh, you have your characters lined up on one side of a play field or battlefield, and your enemy will be lined up on another side, and you, uh, you know, uh, there, there's little timers that you can see kind of in these screenshots on the right hand side, uh, when those timers are full, your character can attack or defend or do whatever, you know, you want them to do, um, and then, you know, and then they'll do that, so. Actually, and what I was saying before about playing the game the way I want to play is, uh, you know, early on, you can actually uh, steal things from um, some enemies early on and get some pretty good equipment, like a Mage Masher right there. That's a very good thing to have for, Des for Zidane later on. Um, so, I mean, I was saying, you know, in the interest of your guys' time, I didn't want to... Uh, you know, I didn't want to waste your time by just having to steal, because sometimes stealing is not very easy, and it takes forever. Uh, but on the stuff that I can remember, I'll, I'll just do it. Oh, oh, my head. Go easy, you guys. So that was just a quick way to kind of introduce you to the combat of Final Fantasy for those people who hadn't uh, played. You know, I think a pretty good way to just show you how kind of combat works. Use a potion to restore XP. I'm sorry, not XP, HP. Woo. Hey, fools. You're looking a lot better. Gua. All right, let's start this meeting already. Excuse me if you hear some background noise. I'm just gonna take a swig of water here. Here's the plan. The infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission, to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria. And when it does, we're going to put on our costumes. And perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the act to me, of course. Uh, leave the acting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers will be blank and sedane. I'll distract the audience from uh, backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand... I always said ooklops when I played this when I was a kid. Um, but it could just be ooklops. But I'm going to say ooklops, so if that bothers you, you can stop watching and go do something else with your life. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, sedane. Okay. I don't know if I want to play the jokester or the serious guy. I won't play the jokester. That's when I capture Queen Brienne, right? You bet. You're going to kidnap the fat ass book. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. You bet. You're going to kidnap the fat ass book. Okay, Queen Brienne. What am I saying? Okay, so clearly I'm going here to uh, capture or kidnap the princess. You bet. You're going to kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. I think she's only like 16, so that's pretty fucked up of him to say. She's not of age, dude. Come on, have some class. Oh, no, we don't want to skip the movies. I want you guys to watch the movies. Unless you guys don't want to, let me know. Alright, so this is the guy. This is the black mage I was talking about earlier. The guy who focuses on destruction magic. 
His name is Vivi. I absolutely love him. He's like my favorite character, arguably, of any of Final Fantasy game. His theme song is like the best theme song ever. Um, I actually used to write music, and I wrote a song heavily inspired by his theme song, which I think is going to be coming up. I might turn up the volume so you can hear it. Because um, it's just the fucking... It's the best, dude. It's the absolute best. And he's just like, he's a really adorable character. I mean, he's kind of like, you kind of pity him. But at the same time, like, I don't know, I just, he's the kind of, he's, he's a character I connect a lot with. I don't know. You pity him because, I don't know, he's kind of like helpless and weak. And, you know, you can see a lot of that. I can see a lot of that in myself sometimes. So, like, when I was playing as a kid... I don't know, I just kind of empathized a lot. I related a little bit. He just doesn't quite fit in with all these people. I don't know. This is a theme song. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. Are you alright? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye bye He's always adjusting his head. I don't know, he's just like cute. He's awesome. Ow! Rat kid. Why you? Get out of my way. I hate that kid. He's such a dick. Wow, nobles. I think there's something I can pick up around here. said in a second. Darling, I'm home. I'm not done with Ilya's dress yet. Come back later. Rah! Every year, it's always the same. You're spoiling them grandkids, I say. I think I go up this ladder. I think there's something up here. Fang card. So, I just picked up a fang card, and I talked about a, a playing card game in this uh, earlier. There's a playing card game that's within this game itself. Um, that I actually got pretty good at. I found a potion. Bing, bang, boom. Trying to remember all that. Picked up nine gil of her savings. I feel really bad. Talk about a thief. This pattern is making me dizzy. I know the feel, bro. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a card game in this game that I actually got pretty good at. I don't know how to. It's just like... I just got good at it. There we go, I knew there was something in this hallway. Alright. So let's get heading into the city. Honorable nobles of Trino, Calix, uh, Castle Alexandria is this way. Trino is another city in this, uh, in this world. And I, that's a penguin. <laughs> yeah, there's like penguin people and hippo people and rat people. So as you can tell, this is a very fantasy oriented game. I think there's something over here. Yep. 33 gil, or jill, I don't know, I, I'm gonna say gil, so if you don't like that, you can just go do something else with your life, um, there's like a hippo kid, wow, nobles are so spiffy, I don't think I have enough cards right now to like, challenge people and win, yeah, I just got a flan card, hey honey, what's up, oh, do you wanna play cards, I gotta get back to work, 27 kill on the floor. Another thing about Final Fantasy is the more you explore the world, the more you'll find little things like this. Like, anybody who isn't me, who hasn't played this game like several times, probably could just, you know, if it's your first time playing, you might just run right through all these sections and not even know about these little secrets and stuff. That's what I've always liked about Final Fantasy is the longer you spend in the world and the more you explore, the more you're rewarded, which I think is really cool. I mean, you know, the, obviously the people who design these games, you know, they, they put a lot of time into this, so obviously I'm putting those little Easter eggs and, you know, these little things in here, so. Wow, how'd you get a ticket for the show? You better 
head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamped there before you can enter the castle. I think there's something over here. Ah, it's just a sign. Doug's item shop. I mean, we don't particularly need anything right now. All right, whatever. Let's go in there. Let's go to the ticket booth. Peek into the ticket booth. Can I help you, son? What's the show today? This year's performance is the masterpiece. I want to be your canary. The Tantalus Company is performing. So, as we know that this is all a sham and that that show is... I mean, it's real, but it's just a distraction so that the Tantalus Company, Zidane and co. Uh, can kidnap the princess. What kind of troop is Tantalus? There are star performers from Lindblom, the Regency uh, to the west, with accompaniment by Lave Letters. Lave Letters. I don't know. Lindblom is like my favorite city. Uh, it's another city in this world. Um, focused on like airships and stuff. I really like it. I think it's a cool city. Yeah. Uh, so let's get moving on with the story. I'll just show him my ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No. Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now. <laughs> A goblin card, fan card, skeleton card. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. So, again, those cards are used for, uh, the, you know, the, like the card game. Um, if you play the card game and you win, I think you get to choose one of your enemy's cards, stuff like that. We'll see if I play, you know, some cards in this playthrough, but... Another thing I could do to waste everybody's time is do this jumping rope game, but I always sucked at it and I've never gotten far. Apparently, if you go far enough, you can get some really good, good rewards for the early game, but I think for now we'll just keep playing. Let's explore some of these buildings. Maybe there's some secrets I've forgotten about. <clears throat> what do you mean there's no vacancies? Yes, you see. Really quite sorry. What? I don't believe this. I have a, re uh, I have a reservation, damn it. Jeez. Yikes. City people are so scary. I empathize with that a whole hell of a lot. Alright, let's talk to this, like, frogman. Fishman, sorry. Those are gills, how could I miss that? Sorry, no vacancies today. Out of the way, please. I was hoping there would be something in there. It's busy, busy, busy. Nothing up here. Okay. Dang, I really thought there was something here. Guess not. Well, this was pointless. Alright, let's talk to this hippo kid. I hid my three precious cards in a safe place. Oh, I kind of want to find them now. The three heroic knights of Pluto. This statue was built to commemorate the three knights who fought bravely in the 15th Lindblom War in 1601. Wow, I'm an idiot. Three cards, three statues. Sus. Synthesis. Uh, so right now I'm in a weapon shop where you would buy weapons. Duh. Um, and a synthesis is somebody who can kind of combine weapons to make more powerful weapons. So, you know, uh, if you have two of one kind of weapon or two of two different kinds of weapons, they, uh, you know, there are certain recipes where they can be combined, maybe with other items or just, you know, straight up, and you can make more powerful weapons. Um, really no need to be here now as we're not really doing much fighting. I really wish I remembered where those kid, where that kid hid his stuff. The blossoms in Alexandria are quite splendid, don't you think? Flowers for sale, a perfect gift for the one you love. Do you like flowers too? I mean, I guess. that he's clumsy. Blast it. Hey, you made me miss, you little klutz. And, like, I can also empathize with him because people are just so mean to him for no reason. Whew, that should do it. 
Well, it's been a long day. Hey, you, shrimp. You're the one with the phony ticket, ain't you? I saw the guy tell you it was fake. Y yeah, it's fake. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. I See, I fucking hate this kid. Well, what do you say? I mean, all right. Oh, fuck, I should have said no, no, I don't want to. Awesome. Now, uh, I mean, either way, the story is going to progress like this. Awesome. Now for your first assignment. You go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. All clear. Yeah, it's clear. Awesome. Engage according to our mission parameters. This kid's name is Puck, I think. I think he's actually the prince of, uh... Yeah, boy, is Vivi, because you don't know his name yet. Um, excuse me, but is your name Alleyway Jack? Huh? How did you know my name? If you know who I am, you probably want to challenge me to a card game, huh? What? You don't know how to play, and you want me to teach you? <laughs> well, why not? I've finished one job already. Follow me, kid. So th I guess this is going to be a tutorial of how to play uh, the card game. We'll, we'll start with the basics. You need five cards to play the card game play uh, the game, approach somebody and press Y. Some people may not be interested, and in that case, move on to somebody else. Let's talk about how to actually play the game. You take turns placing your cards on a 4x4 four four grid with your opponent. Sometimes your opponent's cards flips. That's because of the yellow arrows on the corners of the sides of the card. If your arrow is facing in the direction of your opponent's card, that card becomes yours. But if your opponent's card has an arrow facing yours, a card battle begins. When several arrows face each other, multiple card uh, battles may occur. You can choose where to begin uh, the card battle when that happens. Where you choose to begin the battle affects how the rest of the battles play out. Let's see, you can also use combos. Okay, I'll teach you the technical stuff now. You gotta be careful during a card battle. If your card wins against the opponent's card, all the cards facing that card's arrows are yours. That's called a combo. It's a double-edged sword because the same thing happens uh, to you if your card loses against your opponent's card. Try to play a perfect game. What's a perfect? Uh, what is a perfect game, you ask? Uh, you get one if your opponent's card. Uh, you get one of your opponent's cards if you win. If you flip all of your opponent's cards and play a perfect game, you can take all of them. Reach for the highest collector's levels. What's a collector's level? Let me tell you about collector's levels. Check your menu and go to the uh, section titled card. You can check your uh, collector's level there. You level up as you collect more cards. Even I don't know what the highest collector level is. Can we try a game? Let's play. So, yeah, I mean, that explanation is pretty horrid and terrible, but, I mean, you figure it out as you go. Um, and I got pretty good, but, you know, now that I said it, I'm going to pro probably get crushed. So I probably only have a couple cards here. So that's a pretty good card to have because it has arrows on all sides. So basically, if you can get an arrow on a, an opponent's card where they don't have an arrow, you automatically just get that card. So I'm going to want him. And what I try to do is I try to figure out where I can get coverage, like everywhere. That'll be a good card to have. That'll be a good card to have. And that'll be a good so we'll take these cards and we'll play with these cards. Alright, the battle begins. Place a card next to one of your opponent's cards. If the arrow on the card is facing your opponent's card, you have a chance to capture it. Alright. So what I might do... Okay, so I lost that. That's a really good card. 
Is that set me back a little bit? Dang, that was a really good card too. I probably could have played that a lot better, but I'm in a rush. I got people to whisper to. All right, so gotta go help this kid out. Over here. Don't fall behind into the steeple. Whoops. You're afraid of heights, aren't you? It's okay. Just pretend you're on the ground. Easier said than done, bud. 
Come on already, we're running out of time. Not again. Don't worry, it won't fall. Oh, it totally will, dude. Ha, ah, I guess it fell. No point in worrying now, right? Yeah. There's something. I know there's something. I swear to God. Memory of a freaking elephant. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I don't even know your name. Vivi. Or Vivi. I say Vivi. If you say Vivi again, you can just leave. You don't have to keep watching. Just kidding. I love you. So your name's Vivi, huh? Kind of funny name. My name's Puck. Pleased to meet you. something up here too. 92 kill. The inverse of 29. Thou hast lost even thy love. Fortune hath escaped thee. For what else then shalt thou live? For the sake of our friend, let us bury the steel in the heart of a wretched King Leo. I. We shall back thee, kinsman. Pray sheath thy swords. This villain is mine. Nay, kinsman. For I too have lost a brother to this fiend. What ho, oh, out vermin, oh hey, thou darest bear thy sword before the king. All who stand in my way will be crushed. Treacherously, oh my kinsman, suffering shall not be in vain. For something, something pain. He was going too fast, I was trying to read, and probably 
was very relaxing. So this battle is all for show. Just, you know, the Tantalus crew putting on a show for everybody. Again, distracting everybody while they prepare to, uh, So, I'm just going to attack here, I'm just going to get this over with. Send. I don't know if I've ever. Whatever. We'll just we'll throw in an attack here and there and just see if we can push things along. God, this animation's so old. I love it. graphics for 2019, 2020, probably not the greatest thing you've ever seen, but, um, I mean, coming from just two iterations ago, Final Fantasy VII, I mean, if, if you saw a blocky and polygon that looked, I mean, it's just incredible how far video games have come, I mean, even between seven and nine. Has not seen the last of me, Marcus. Come back. Out of the way, Blank. Consider this, Zidane. If Prince Schneider were to marry Princess Cornelia, peace would reign over both our kingdoms. It is foolishness. If we were all, uh, if all were so easy, why none would suffer in this world? Aha. Aha. this song a lot too. I think it's called like Vama a Flamenco. Vama, Vamo a la Flamenco. On guard, expect no quarter from me. Alright, so this is uh, I have to follow his lead and then I have to push all these buttons. Um, I, I can really grind and get this right, but I might not. Oh, I've been pressing the wrong B. Shit. So that, that definitely wasn't good. 54 were impressed. I mean, whatever. <laughs> we brought it was not impressed. No, we're just going to keep moving. Hey, 283 jail kill, I'll take it. I, I kept thinking of an Xbox controller. I really wish that they just put all the buttons in the same place. All right, so Sedane and Blank have just uh, knocked out some cards and put on their disguises. Or put on their uh, equipment as a disguise. Finish changing Sedane. Yeah, but this helmet, it kind of smells. What are you talking about? My helmet totally reeks. My armor's way too big. And my back's real itchy. The boots are wet. My gloves are all slimy. There's cookie crumbs in my pockets. Okay, I get the picture. 
You still have the package, right? Don't worry, I won't screw up. Nice catch. Alright, first I'll go pour some sleep uh, potion into Princess Garnet's teacup. And I've got a special something for the lovely queen. Hee <laughs> hee, they're sleeping so soundly. Royal seat should be right above these stairs. Got it. Uh-oh. The scene where Marcus sneaks into Cornelia's chambers is about to start. Let's get this over with before the finale, okay? Alrighty. So, I think what I'm gonna do is take a break here.